straight away that is a center, center point, a line is passing through and we got a red triangle watch, do you agree? That is in a semicircle. What do you think of this angle? Angle in a semicircle, right? That should be a 90. Happy? So, we do not know what is C, we do not know what is E, but look for the triangle, that triangle there. I did not use any uh, alf alphabets. Look at that triangle. Do you agree that is an isosceles one? Right. Now, you know the top angle 98, two sides equal, you know how to find E and F. Done. Okay. Now, look for the, the other one. Turn it like this and then look for this triangle here, that triangle there. Is there a way you can find this angle? Come on, think. Using that straight line? Yes. Once you get this angle, you can actually find base angles because it is isosceles triangle again. Okay. Then you can find C. Now, turn it like this. Look, the, these sums are very easy to actually solve if you apply the, the rules step by step. This arc is making two angles. Where are they? This arc is making two angles and where are they? Watch there. One angle is that 26 and the same arc is making another angle here called A. Okay. Do you agree that A and 20, 26 should be same? Right. I do not want to waste any more time on this. I have given some hints and you can attack that sum now. Well, we just know only one angle that is 52. Once again, there is a center point and a line is passing through and suddenly you actually see a triangle also there and that is 90. Right people, you all know and the rule that we applied angle in a semicircle, right. If you know that and if you know that this is 90, is there a way you can find that missing angle there, right? Using this triangle, find that missing angle. You know one angle, 52 and you know this is 90. Some of the three angles concept. Now, consider uh, immediately, go, go to the triangle, isosceles triangle there, one radius, another radius, all right, okay. So, this is an isosceles triangle, you already know this, right, and y also should be the same. After that, if you know those two, you can actually find x, you can find x, right. Now, if you turn the picture like this, look at that arc, or look at that chord, whatever, right? That chord is making an angle Z at that corner. The same chord is making an angle here. This you have already found. Angles made by the same chord. Happy? Now, the angle at the cent center is 2x plus 10. We do not know what is x. And then angle at the top is 25. What do you think? Both angles are made by the same arc. Okay, both angles made by the same arc. Now, angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference, so make an equation. Right, watch there, center angle is here. I will just write there, center equals to twice the top angle. I will just write my own shortcuts there. Right, tell me about Tell me about the angle at the center. Go back and, and then check. Angle at the center is 2x plus 10, right? Right there, 2x plus 10, 2x plus 10 equals to twice, well, this is the law, right? Twice the top. So, what is the angle at the top? 25, 25 please, right? So, fill that blank also, that is a 25. Now, this is an algebraic equation and you know how to solve that. 25 times 2, that is a 50 and 2x plus 10, we copy as it is, right. You all know how to solve these equations. Transfer the 10 to the right side 
it's a 50 minus a 10, right, 50 minus 10, and left side, we are left with only 2x, okay, what next? 50 minus 10, a 40, 2x, 2x, two lots of x is 40, and one of them should be 20, so the value of x must be 20, right, that is how one needs to find the missing value. All that we, we have done was we looked at the sum, we said right, angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, we applied the same concept, we made an algebraic equation and we solved that. If you look at the last one also, it's more or less the same same type. Just, just see what happened in this, in this case here, right? There is an angle at the center, there is an angle at the uh, circumference, that should be half of this, well it's an algebraic fraction please and I will solve that for you, okay. It is an algebraic fraction and we can do that, right. So let me take you over here, well the question was angle at the center, once, once again let's write that down, it's a center equals to twice the top, center is twice, twice the top there it is sorry about that i think it's now clear now the angle at the center from your worksheets was a 3x plus 40 equals to now look at the angle on that side there it's a two times times means i will start a bracket two times x plus 30 x plus 30 you know your equ equations well right you can you can open the bracket on the right hand side two lot, lots of x, which is a 2x, and two lots of 30, that should be a 60. Now, do not forget to multiply the 30 also by 2, please, right? So, you got 2x plus 60 on the right side, and that should be equal to 3x plus 40, right? We are in algebraic equations with unknowns on both sides. You know how to solve that. Well, I assume that you, that you know. Uh, how to solve that. Bring the x's to one, one side. So, it's a 3x stays there. The 2x will be a minus 2x. You got your 60 and then take that 40 away. It's a minus 40. Please people watch. We, we simply swap them. Those two come to one, one side. Those two will stay on one side. Right? 3x minus 2x should be, should be 1x and a 60 minus 40 should be 20, right? That is how one has to attack these sums, right? Now, after doing all these sums now, it's not enough. You have actually done questions based on only three rules, right? Let's recall the rules first. Uh, there are actually 10 to 11 rules to go. We just have done only three rules and we did sim simply 24 sums.